Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at sending clips from our Final Cut Pro 10 timeline to either Adobe After Effects or Apple's Motion. In this case we're going to be looking at After Effects today um, but we're also going to be taking a look in the coming weeks at sending clips to Motion and some of the features that Motion has as well as the Motion tutorials get underway. So let's take a look at this sequence um, which is a Silent Studios project um, make sure you check out some of their work, there's a link in the description. This is basically a teaser trailer for their upcoming series called Zombie Playground, which is this idea that you've got a large number of juvenile zombies, um, and it's sort of uh, scenes and episodes centred around that concept. In the climax to this trailer, we have some police people. As this boy rises from the ball pit, and then you can see we've got this clip here, where the boy gets shot. But what we want to do is add blood into his chest as he gets shot. So how would we go about doing that? Obviously Final Cut is not a compositing program. It doesn't have the tools within it to create an effective uh, realistic blood effect. Now I'm not actually going to go into how to create the blood effect. There are loads of tutorials. Uh, just search on YouTube. Uh, blood burst um, or check out video copilot's website for some great tutorials on on effects like that in, in adobe after effects but how do we go about getting this clip into after effects with the same in and out points that we have in this timeline and it's actually really simple thanks to a great program called send to which is available through the mac app store just search send to on the mac app store and you'll be able to get that Basically, what we need to do is, first of all, export the XML. So if we go back to our project menu, and we have our Zombie Playground Teaser 2 selected, which is File, Export XML. If we find the appropriate folder, we're going to call it version 2, because I previously exported the XML. Choose Save. Then we can jump straight back into this timeline. Then what we want to do is hop over to Send To and then grab our Finder window. And we are going to go to the corresponding folder. The XML. We're going to choose version 2. And then we can literally just drag it into here. And this is where we want to find the clip. You can see that the clip was called Body Hit V1 RO5. Now what I would actually recommend doing in the future is selecting your clip in the timeline and then going over to the Inspector tab, click on Info and then you can rename the clip, something obviously like VFX uh, Blood Hit Pre-Effect. And then it's all in capitals and it will be really easy to spot. Um, so make sure you do that when you have a go at doing this. You can see there it is, version R05, which is this one here, and press send. And you can see that it has opened up our clip. With the appropriate in and out points, you can see the duration is right. You can see the if we click on the composition settings, you can see that it's... Um, the same settings as we uh, as the clip we sent to here. Um, it doesn't. It, it takes the set the settings of the clip, not of the uh, sequence that you're working in. You can see also that it does actually create a brand new project, and then from here we can work on our project, and then we can add our composition to the render queue, export it out and then import it back into Final Cut as a brand new clip. And then you can obviously drag it into your timeline. Color grade it to match the rest of the clip. And there you go. Now you can see that we've got a blood bursting out of his chest. If you have done the visual effect, that is. Um, so just a quick tip, hopefully this was useful, and like I said, we're going to be taking a look at doing the same sort of thing in motion, and we can even cover how to create the effect in motion if you guys like. Just make sure you comment in the description if that's what you guys want.
Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to check out this video. It's a great little tense video with all these dead bodies that wake up in this uh, kids' play area. Really quite scary. So check that out, link in the description, and I'll see you guys soon with a brand new tutorial.